And when we're sailing, we can't sail directly into the wind. We can sail pretty close to the wind. Let's sail about 45 degrees from the direction of the wind. This is the wind direction coming straight down here. We can sail about 45 degrees on either side. If we're sailing 45 degrees to the wind and our sails are hauled in as close as they can to the boat, we're sailing on as close of an angle to the wind as we can. We call that close hold. These are all our points of sail. Basically how the boat is oriented relative to the wind and its course through the water. So right here, we'd be sailing right upwind and close hold is a pretty fine line between able to sail and not being able to sail. If we steered a little bit up into this area, this is our no sail zone. We're not getting enough airflow over both sides of the sail to be able to, to provide lift to sail the boat. So the sails would start, they'd start luffing and flapping in the wind like a flag there. So that's our no sail zone. How's the jib? It looks the jib looks amazing. Right, I'll stay on this back. Anything I do, I'll just screw it up. No, you're good. <laughs> Come on, looks man. Good. You're doing a great job. <laughs> You're gonna get a stamp today. I want a sticker. So we'll ease it. We'll get on a close reach point of sail. So if we ease okay. out the jib, ease it out. Yep. Ease it out a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna bear That's away. good. That's good right there, Jack. Okay. And then the main. And then Jack, we're gonna ease out on the main a little bit. And is that? That's Pretty that cool. one right there. Yep. Oh, Same so thing and ease it out. Can you see the telltale? I think we're good. And then watch your override there. Yeah, I see it. It'll probably cut. Watch your fingers. It, yeah. It'll it'll come out as you keep easing out. Okay. So if you clean it off there. Okay. Nice. So bear away a little bit more, Jeremy, for your telltales. Like five more degrees. There you go. Nice. So if we do that again, if we ease out a little more, we'll go on a beam reach. So I'd okay. start, start with the jib. Start with the jib. Alright, just have a routine, that's good. Yeah. So ease that out, that override there. Yep, that right. went away as we eased out. Uh, ease out some more. And hey, keep your hands a little further away from the winch, Jack. Yeah, yeah. Hey, okay. hey, you could ease out some more. There you go, that's good. You could clean it off there. Nice. And then we could ease out the main a little. You're on a good heading right there, Jeremy. Ease out the main. So we could actually... Keep going. That's good, right there. We're heading back. <laughs> yep. That's nice. Nice beam reach. All right, we're gonna switch roles here, Dave. That's cool. Okay, you're gonna be on film. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I put my sweater on. I look good, right? You look great. How's you my look hair? Great, man. We could ease that. We could ease the main out. That, one. that looks good. Maybe a little more. A little more? Yeah, Jib could go out a bit. That's good. So, Jack, you could steer to starboard a little more. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Little more. There you go. That's good. That's nice. Holding the course at 90. Yep. All right, here's wing on wing. We were sailing on the Chesapeake Bay on a Catalina 36, my friend Jeremy's boat, along with our friend Jack. Now we're up here on Lake Michigan on a day 302. We're on a close reach point of sail. Not as close to the wind as we could be on close hauled, but we're still making good upwind progress. The camera angle at the end is about the wind direction. We're going to bear away to beam reach. Bearing away is when you steer away from the wind. Heading up is when you steer up towards the wind. So right now, about this camera angle, the wind is hitting the beam of the boat. Side of the boat, the boat sailing kind of perpendicular to the wind. We have Eric, the boat owner. He's at the helm. Neil from U.S. Captain's Training is trimming the sails. I'm in the dinghy, the camera from U.S. Captain's Training, and Liam is driving the dinghy. That's Eric's son. Generally want to have your mainsail and the jib eased out about the same. So you want their angles to about match each other. You wouldn't want to have the jib hold in tight and the main eased out or the other way around. This will give you the best airflow over the sails. Both sails are working together this way. You'll get as much performance as you can. 
continue to bear away to a broad reach. Right here we're on a port tack. The wind is attacking the port side of the boat. The camera angle is about the wind direction and the stern quarter, the stern port quarter of the boat. Here we are sailing on a run, also called wing on wing. Pretty much sailing dead downwind. Yeah, yeah they've got the luxury 